Hi, I'm Harrison. I'm from Michigan, United States. I'm a researcher here at LC, and I'm going to teach you about the difference between biological and non-biological systems. So I'm interested in the difference between biological systems and non-biological systems. By biological system, I mean something like a cell. And by a non-biological system, I mean something like a volcano. One way in which you can investigate the difference between a living system and a non-living system is by looking at their chemistry. To look at the chemistry of something that's alive, like a cell, you first need to figure out what's in its DNA. The DNA tells you about the reactions that a living system can catalyze. These reactions can compose something called a chemical reaction network. A chemical reaction network looks like a bunch of dots and lines, but what the dots represent are chemical compounds and the lines represent our reactions. You can do the same thing for a non-living system. So you can sample the local geology or the geochemistry and represent that also as a chemical reaction network. Again, the, the dots are chemical compounds and the lines are reactions. Once you sample enough, you can draw a really big network and then you can start to compare the patterns of these networks between the biological and non-biological systems. For example, if you look at two different nodes in these networks and they represent the same chemical, you can quantify them by looking at how many connections do they have. In the biological case, there's three connections. and the non-biological case, there's only one connection. By measuring these differences, such as the number of connections between a chemical and a biological system versus a non-biological system, it tells us something about the structure between the living state and the non-living state. Thank you for your time.